Next tonight, we are following up on a sort of renaissance for Western New York shopping malls. While some thought the pandemic would be the wrecking ball for the in-person shopping industry, developers are now breathing new life into the malls that were once a staple in our communities. This is all part of our follow-up series, our commitment to staying on top of the stories that matter to you. Just this week, the new owners of McKinley Mall unveiled their vision for its future. Cohen Leasing says it wants to bring in a mix of national brands and small businesses focusing on entertainment and community. In Niagara County, there is new life inside the Summit Park Mall, and you may remember that mall closed in 2009. Its final anchor store, Sears, that closed there in 2018. But there is now a new attraction inside that old Sears, and I took a tour this afternoon. It's really cool to see that we're bringing life into a mall that's been closed for so long. Dakota Ward is the owner of Seven Gates Screen Park, now open at the mostly deserted Summit Park Mall in Niagara Falls. When I was a kid, I used to do a home haunt. For Dakota, scaring people is a passion. Since COVID, I came home to work um, and I asked my father, let's, you know, let's open up a haunted house and uh, we just did. He tells me it took nearly a year and hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this 30,000 square foot scare fest. We have hatchet throwing, uh, we have uh, midway games, we have a mini escape room, but we also have three haunted houses. And this isn't a one and done thing. You plan on doing this every year? Yes, we actually are planning to do this forever. We're also going to be opening up throughout the year, so we're planning to do a Christmas haunt. Seven Gates is one of only two businesses at the mall right now. Neil Turvey runs the other business, Niagara International Sports and Entertainment, and he's also the manager of the entire mall. I talked with him over the phone about what the owner has planned next. He wants to make this a year-round um, activity center. The shopping's not going to happen here again. That, that's going to be, this has got to be something different. It's got to be something um, you can take advantage of the open space. What about the other empty storefronts here? Any plans for those? Um, yeah, we're looking to put a um, seasonal marketplace in and a um, uh, an artist uh, vending down in the, uh, the previous Bonton space. He says they hope to have that open by next fall. Other plans include two field houses, an outdoor sports complex, and a concert venue. We're putting in a uh, uh, exhibition center where the, uh, the Save-A-Lot previously was at, the Save-A-Lot and the Toys R Us. Dakota says the fact that the mall is mostly empty right now makes the haunted house even creepier. What is cooking here? <laughs> but he looks forward to more businesses breathing new life into Summit Park Mall. <laughs>